it is Kita with Kita Explorer Photography back again with Black Women Photographers. And today we are going to talk about white balance. It's actually a request from, I believe, Mark Will Photo a few weeks ago. So definitely wanted to talk a little bit more about white balance. So first of all, what is white balance? White balance is when you remove the unrealistic color cast off the subject. So whenever a subject appears white in person with your eyes, it still appears white in the photo. So now we're over at the subject, which is this bonsai tree. So with the subject, I'm going to first take a photo with the white balance of with my camera, it has a light bulb. So you're, I'm inside, have some lighting on, and I'm going to take a photo with that to hopefully get it as close as to what I see here with my eye in camera. All right, so that is pretty close. It's a little bluer than I would like, but it's pretty close to what it looks like in person. Now let's switch the white balance to fluorescent lighting, which is a different type of light than what I chose previously. Now this one actually looks quite close to what it actually looks like in person. But now if we switch up the white balance to sunshine. Let's see what happens because the first two options were for artificial indoor lighting. Now you see it gives a little bit more of a yellowish tint to the photo. I actually really like this compared to the indoor lighting settings. Now let's change the white balance to cloudy. The cloudy white balance actually gives it even more of a yellow look compared to the sunshine, which I still like, but now it's not the same green as it is in person. It is definitely more yellow. Let's try one more white balance. Let's actually take it to auto white balance, which is what I actually use most of the time because you never know how lighting can change or coloring can change as you go through a photo session. And with that, it is pretty good with the auto. It's pretty spot on. It kind of shines a light on this one leaf that I focused in on, on the photo. It has a little bit more of a yellowish tint, but I like it. So that's why I use auto because it kind of picks the best white balance for the situation. But as you can see, if you don't set the white balance correctly, you may not get a photo exactly what it looks like in person and if you're doing a photo shoot for a person maybe just regular portraits they want to look as similar to themselves as they do in person in camera so you definitely want to set the right white balance for your photo sessions so of course you should play around with the white balance it doesn't always have to be the same color as what you see with your eyes in the camera you could change it around and have some artistic ways with the use of white balance Play around with it and see what you like and what is appealing to you artistically. And of course, you can always adjust the white balance in post-production. Obviously, it's always best to try to get a photo the way you like it in camera. But if you're like, I don't know which white balance I want to choose, or maybe you want to compare and contrast things, you can always use post-production. So using Lightroom or whatever your preferred editing software is to adjust and play around with white balance. Thank you so much for continuing to turn into this educational series with Black Women Photographers. If you have a request for a topic, make sure you leave that down below in the comment box. But stay tuned to next week for more information. Thanks for watching. See you later.